You a mixed little boy, boy. Oh! It's all a lie. He's not a pug. She a little bad. Hit her with the bag. Hello, what's up, what's good? I'm Irene and you're watching Irene-ish, a little bit of Irene. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and if you have already, welcome back to the channel. Today is the motherfucking day that we find out what this little fucker is! Yeah! This is Choji and this is Harley. So if you follow this channel, you know that Ew, please stop. If you follow me and if you follow this channel, you know that I have two beautifully weird doggos and they both landed in my lap. My friends actually found Harley on the side of the road and I happened to want to keep her and I was a senior in college at the time. Choji was my mom's friend's dog from the Mahjong parlor. If y'all are Asian, y'all know what Mahjong is. Mahjong is basically like this game of tiles where people gamble. Anyways, my mom's friend's Mahjong parlor had a doggy. This is the doggy. I'll show a picture of what he looked like when we first got him. He didn't look that different, honestly, but he was a little smaller. Anywho, we know that Choji is a pug. We know this, like, he looks like a pug, but he does not look like a full pug because full pugs have more of a smushed face and no neck. And Choji is obviously not a full pug. I've always wanted to know what this little f***er is because he's crazy. Choji's one of the weirdest dogs you'll ever meet. He whines and cries like a baby, like a legit human baby. He makes weird noises, he's hella feisty, he's always trying to fight dogs. I'm gonna show you all the clips of him being crazy and weird. What the f***? I literally have the stupidest dog in the world. Choji! Oh shit! Choji, just eat your food. Choji, just eat your food. Nobody wants your food. Hey, stop! Choji. Choji. I love this dog to death. He's my little baby. He's my little protector. And he's my little emotional support animal. Right, Choji? And before we get into the DNA results, I just want to say we do not discriminate here on this channel. I don't care what shape, color, size you are. I love y'all no matter what. But when it comes to dogs, I still don't discriminate, but I do like to know what breed my dog is so that I could train them better. For example, Harley, we did not know what she was. A lot of people thought she was a Dutch Shepherd. The DNA results came in and we found out that Harley is half German Shepherd, a quarter American Staffordshire Terrier, which are the smiling pit bulls. Totally makes sense for Harley. And then a quarter Border Collie. It was actually so crucial for me to find that out because I learned how to train her. The Border Collie in her makes her obsessive with the ball. So like I can literally get her to do anything as long as I have a ball in my hand. So I really really wanted to get Choji a DNA test because that mother is crazy I don't know what he's thinking half the time and I really wanted to find out I think that getting a DNA test for your dogs just really helps you to understand what's going on in their head Why they act the way they do and how you can train them better so we did Choji's DNA test and for both of the DNA tests I use wisdom panel not sponsored or anything It's just the first one that I found and they have pretty good reviews And I feel like it's pretty accurate after getting Harley's DNA test because like every breed that came back for Harley I was like yes, yes, yes So I got the same DNA test for Choji and we actually did the DNA swabbing two weeks ago It took about two weeks for them to process it because I have to basically swab it mail it and then wait for the results My guess is that Choji is I want to say he's mostly pug but then part Boston Terrier. I don't know. I think that's what he is because I've like done research and like looked at what Boston Terrier pugs look like and he hella looks like it. I always think that's what he is but let's find out. The results are in. Drum roll please. All right you want to see? No no licking please no licking. Few results. Oh my god I'm nervous. Why am I nervous? <laughs> Oh my god! Oh! It's all a lie. He's not a pug. I'm shook. I thought Choji was mostly pug, but he is actually 37.5% pug. 
pecking knees. He ain't no pug. He's a pecking knees pug. So he's 37.5% pecking knees, 25% pug, 12.5% chihuahua, and 25% a mix of three different breed groups, which is companion, sporting, and hound. Bitch, where? The fuck? I swear, I thought you were like 50% pug, dude. Did you know that? You're not really a pug. You're pecking knees. Do you know what that means, dude? We gotta change your Instagram handle. His Instagram handle is Choji the Pug. Choji the Pug is actually a pecking knees pug. So let's see what it says about pecking knees because I wanna know. These are what pecking knees look like, which makes sense, except he's like not that furry. He don't look like that. He do look like that in the face, but he don't have the fur like that. So cute. Oh my God, that is a Choji. I just wanna see their traits because I feel like Choji gets his brattiness and like crazy attackingness from the pecking knees. Stubborn tendencies may be lessened by using reward based blah blah. They tend to bark, y'all. They can be wary around strangers and may require careful socialization to prevent or reduce defensive aggressive tendencies. That's you. You are aggressive. He's always barking at other dogs. When he's on a leash and there's another dog across the street on the leash, he will scream at the top of his lungs and try to attack the other dog. But he doesn't really want to attack it. Like he never attacks dogs, but he just wants to play so bad that he makes a fucking scene. You are the most. But I love you. Eh, no licking. Oh, but this was cool. Pecking knees have an origin in China. Chinese, Chinese, we both Chinese. And pugs are Chinese too, so he a Chinese ass dog. You're a China dog. You're a Chinese royalty dog. Pecking knees was bred by the Tang Dynasty in the eighth century, almost exclusively for the nobility. Only members of the Chinese Imperial Palace could own them. I am royal, and this is my royal dog. They were so esteemed that commoners had to bow whenever they were in the presence of one. I bow to you, Choji. I bow to you. <laughs> He's like, what the f is going on? 25% pug, who would have known? Yeah, that's my boy. Yeah, yeah, that's you. Mm -hmm. Pugs are cute little charmers. They're usually good with children and often are friendly dogs. That's why I was like, I don't think Choji is full pug because he's not friendly. So we need to work on that, Choji. We need to work on that. They also are known to have stubborn tendencies and are good with treats. That's what I need to do more, treats. But every time I bring a treat out, he acts like a bug. Like he just can't stop wiggling and moving, so. Mm. Hugs date back to the Chinese Shang Dynasty, which reigned from around 1766 to around 1122 BC. Dang, that's old, you old, old. They were kept as pets by Tibetan monks before being exported to Japan. Blah, 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 blah. He got a big old butt. Mm-hmm. 12.5% Chihuahua makes Sense. Chihuahuas are alert, active, and often playful dogs. May be suspicious of strangers or bark at other dogs when intimidated by their size. Okay, maybe that's why he barks too, but he be barking at dogs of all sizes, so. Chihuahuas are named after the Chihuahua state in Mexico. They are thought to have once belonged to the ancient Mayans. Some say they are descended from the Tachichi, a dog that played an important role in both the Toltec and Aztec cultures. It's thought that the breed is a result of the crossing of the Tachichi and the Chinese crested dog, which came all the way to South America from Africa. Wow, so he's a triple threat Chinese dog. He's a Mexanese dog. You Mexanese, dude. Brimming with big personality despite its small size, the Chihuahua is proof that the ancient Mayans weren't just good at numbers and astrology, they were experts at picking great companions too. Aww, you're so ancient. I love you. You're so cultured, Choji. And then the rest of the breed groups that Choji's most likely related to is the companion group, which includes dogs like uh, the Pomeranian, Pug, and Shih Tzus. And then the sporting group, which includes dogs like the Poodle, Cocker Spaniel, Golden Retriever. And then also the Hound group, which includes the Basset Hound, Beagle, and Bloodhound. So. You a mixed little boy, boy. I'm gonna insert his family tree right here so you guys could get to know Choji's DNA. Ideal weight, 12 to 20 pounds. How the f did you end up to be damn near 30 pounds? I don't know. But both of my dogs are super thick. I don't know what I'm doing 
wrong or right but I'm doing something because my dogs are really healthy and pH fat and they thick as fuck so I think they're healthy that was Choji's DNA reveal as well as Harley's brush up on her DNA reveal. I also got my DNA tested a long time ago, so if you're interested in that, leave a comment down below if you want to see my DNA test. Turns out, I'm not 100% Chinese. Ish, what? If you want to see my DNA results, leave a comment down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video! Until then, Peace out. Tell me, do you love me like I do? Tell me what you willing to prove. Cause I ain't got nothing to lose. It's true. You mean the world to me.